Hey, have you heard of this Brown Friday? It's a term plumbers use the day after Thanksgiving when pipes and garbage disposals tend to get clogged from Thanksgiving meal prep and cleanup. ABC 10's Monica Coleman spoke with a plumbing expert on how you can make sure your Thanksgiving doesn't turn into a big icky mess. There is no way to avoid the grease that comes with cooking a feast. And you can't stop people from doing what they need to do in the bathroom this Thanksgiving. But do be aware of what plumbers call Brown Friday. Sounds not so good, but basically it's just an overload on your sewer system because you have too many people coming in using all your facilities all the cooking, all the preparation, all the washing. Companies like Bell Brothers see an uptick in calls of people pleading for help the day after Thanksgiving, needing their drains unclogged due to dirty backups. Things do arise quicker than what they expect. And so a lot of times people put things off, which we get it, we're all busy and we get distracted and then last minute, oh, we don't have time for this or time for that. I went to get answers on how you can avoid Brown Friday this holiday. Plumbing expert Jody T says you should literally listen to your drains. Listening to noises, that tells us what's going on with our system. Your sewer system breathes, and so we listen to the noise, and when we start hearing different noises that are, shouldn't be there, then we know we're starting to have some kind of a, a blockage. If you become a victim of Brown Friday and try to avoid the problem, T says it will cost you. It could be many thousands um, and you could go up to, you know, 15, 20 based on what the need or the problem may be. A lot of it dictates, you know, what type of home you have and are you on a raised foundation or are you on a slab? Um, is it inside? Is it outside? You know, how deep is your sewer lines? And remember, DIY fixes could just make the problem worse. T says you should always call a professional. Drano or other chemicals that are out there are corrosive to the old pipes, and so that does create problems as far as speeding up additional issues, causing more cracks, more breakages, and it's just not very safe. It's not very friendly for the environment. Well, here are some things to remember to dispose of grease, put it in a container and throw it in the trash. And so if you've cooked with grease like I do, you'll know it'll get thick at the top and then it's easy to throw away in the trash. Also, be sure to wipe out any oil from your pots and pans before, before washing them. And then once you put them in the sink, just run some hot water in them, put in some Dawn soap and you'll see it break up into these little greasy bubbles. So that'll help to break up the remainder grease there. Now, experts also say putting Things like potato peels and poultry skin down the garbage disposal could cause a backup. So it's best to throw any of those non liquid waste into the trash and really do try to break it down with your dish soap. And you know, when you're cooking for large crowds like this, that's a lot of peels, thick peels mm -hmm. to go down the sink. So just put them in a big mm -hmm. old bowl, throw there them away. Go. So yeah. we can understand why it's called Brown Friday because yeah. so many people probably have this issue tomorrow yeah. morning, mm -hmm. right? Totally. Yeah. Don't want any kind of plumbing issues no. to interfere with your Thanksgiving plans. So, yeah, good tips there. <laughs>